Good evening, Titans. This is Mr. Simpson. This is Lesson 7.1, Factoring Special Products. First of all, we're going to look at the pattern for the difference of two squares. And if you recall, we've already worked with multiplying binomials that are identical, except one is a sum and the other is a difference. Well, remember, now you're going to be given this, and you have to be able to come up with those two binomials. So in this example, it has x squared minus 9. And so what we have to look for is that we have to notice that the x squared is a perfect square, and the 9 is a perfect square. So they rewrite it as x squared minus 3 squared. And now we know that it has to be x plus 3 times x minus 3. And those are the two binomials that multiply together to give me x squared minus 9. The difference of two squares patterns is pretty simple. And it's pretty easy to recognize because one, obviously it must be a difference and then both terms must just be perfect squares. So if we look at these examples here. We have x squared minus 25. Well, x squared is a perfect square and 25 is a perfect square. So we could rewrite that as x squared minus 5 squared. And now we just have x minus 5 times x plus 5. And now we're done. In letter B, 4z squared well, that's actually 2z all to the second minus 1 to the second. So now my pattern is 2z minus 1 times 2z plus 1. Here they want you to use the pattern of a special product to find 54 squared minus 48 squared. Well, if we just take the concept that 54 squared minus 48 squared, well, we could rewrite it as 54 minus 48 times 54 plus 48. Well, 54 minus 48 is 6, and 54 plus 48 is 102. And now it might be a little easier to take 6 times 102. 6 times 100 is 600. 6 times 2 is 12, so that would be 612. So that's just a way of using the pattern of special products. Not that we would use that very often, but just, again, showing you how we can use the pattern to do some mental math. So again, here are just a few more examples. And again, if you'd like to pause this for a moment and try to do these, then I'll reveal the answers in just a moment. All right. So for the first one, again, this is x minus 6 all to the second, x squared minus 6 squared all to the second, so then that's x minus 6 times x plus 6. Again, this isn't maybe a necessary step, but it does show that we have a term squared followed by another term squared. So in this case, 9n squared, well, that's a perfect square of 3n all to the second, and 16 is a perfect square of 4, so that's 4 squared, so now I have 3n minus 4 times 3n plus 4. And again, the reason it must be a minus and a plus so that the middle terms cancel out. Notice that there's only two terms, so the middle terms have to cancel out. And then here, we'd have 36 minus 34 times 36 plus 34. Well, 36 minus 34 is 2, and 36 plus 34 is 70, and 2 times 70 is 140. And here we'd have 47 minus 44 times 47 plus 44. So 47 minus 44 is 3. 47 plus 44 is 91. And now we have 3 times 91, which would be 273.